podcast world. Welcome back to another edition of Holly Randall Unfiltered. Today, I have two of my good friends who I share a lot of history with, so I'm really thrilled to have them here. Ryan Keeley and Jelena Jensen. Hi, guys. Hello, you colorful ladies. <laughs> I know. Ryan rolled in and I was like, ooh, the pink hair's back. And I just got mine done like two days ago. So I'm very vivid right now. You are very vivid. No, the pink hair's back because I didn't want to bleach my head again. And I'm like, it hurts. Just put some color on it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Mine hurt the other day, too. I was yeah. like, it's burning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just like regular blonde. I don't even get bleached. They so just, I get like highlights from my roots a little bit, which is a washout, but this is actually like the bottom's natural. So, what? Yeah. You're naturally blonde. I'm naturally a dumb blonde. I am. I was going to say, you have like a legitimate excuse. Yeah, I do. I do. <laughs> Very legitimate excuse. That, and then like I was dropped on my head a lot when I was a kid and did a lot of drugs and stuff like that. So, I got. I got all the excuses for why I'm such a fucking moron. <laughs> but we love you. Oh, thank you. I'm an ad- I'm a lovable moron. Yeah. Speaking of hair, before we went on camera, um, I have been talking about my my new goal to grow my hair out into a pixie mullet. And Jelena <laughs> yes. had a comment for me about this. Like, I- well, first, first I have to say, I think that you could totally rock a, mo- a mohawk, and that's what I think <laughs> that you should do. But she is advising against it, and so I think because you know Ryan is newly back to shooting, and now that mm-hmm. she is in her 30s, along with me. <laughs> Walk into the club. <laughs> she has been in it a couple years, so. Jenna hmm. uh, <laughs> Sativa just said to me the other day, she's like, I really want to have sex with you, but I don't want you to be my mom. Yes. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> no, so that's what I'm getting at. Like, now you are like a MILF, just like me. We're in the MILF category. Yep. So my comment was going to be now when they, they do like a parody or just some movie where they need like <laughs> hicks or like, you know, white trash. You're going to have the mullet. You're going to fit the part. You're going to get more work. That is what I'm saying. Um, I am going to keep all of my teeth, though. I'm not going to go full method. As delicious as methamphetamine is, um, I'm going to stick with my caffeine. Yeah. Well, we can always just like take a Sharpie to like one of your teeth and just color it black, and then nobody will know. It looks exactly the same. So for those of you who are not watching this on video right now, who are only listening, um, Jelena has very colorful rainbow mermaid hair. And Ryan has come in with a pink tint to her pixie cut. So just so people understand why we're yeah. talking about we're magical, all, all yeah. the magical. Yeah. You guys look yeah. like a pair of unicorns. <laughs> <laughs> it's only fitting, though, because for those people who don't know, Ryan and I are technically porno wifeys. We've we, shot we've we've shot <laughs> together more than any with anyone else ever. So, wow. Yeah, yeah. I believe that. Yeah. I believe that. Yeah. Yeah. So we we go well together. Like yes. we coordinate, even yes. when we're not trying to coordinate. <laughs> right. We coordinate. We both show up in mostly black and sensible yeah. shoes. Yeah. <laughs> shoes. You know, honestly, like it's all about sensible shoes. As I get older, I am I am not about heels. Okay, so I got a last minute invite to the Playboy Mansion for the Midsummer Night Stream on Saturday, which. I've never been invited to before, right? Mm-hmm. I've never, everyone's like, oh my God, because you know, you shoot for Playboy Plus, you must go to the mansion all the time. I'm like, dude, I never get invited. <laughs> Nobody wants me there. I'm not like 21 and I don't have like big tits and like a tight body. So like, no. Really I, quick, just to interject into that, they are even strict with that. When I first started working for Playboy, I was, I had already done a show for them and they would not let me in. I've been wow. working for Playboy off and on since I was 19 and I still haven't been to the yeah, mansion. So don't feel I'm bad. I'm 33 now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I was really surprised when I got the invite and it's, of course, it's the Midsummer Night Stream Party. So I have to wear lingerie, which I am not excited about at all because like I don't even wear lingerie at home in bed. Like my bras are all... Well, this one's more exciting, but my bras are all <laughs> is it ba- age of- are all neutral. You mean like this? Are all this beige? Is like my my day to day bras? Yeah, just they're all black t-shirt bras. or they're they're t shirt bras. <laughs> I wore an exciting bra specifically because I thought you guys might see it. <gasps> I love how we're only five minutes into the show and Ryan's already pulling her tits out. Why of course, think, why do you think she's my wifey? Yep. Yeah, <laughs> she's got it kind of matches your hair. Actually, it does. that was planned. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. So anyhow, so I'm I'm trying to look for an outfit to wear, right? Because I, I was just like, can I just wear like satin PJs, like heftwares? And my boyfriend, Trevlin, was like, no. He's like, you have to be sexy. You have to wear something else. And I'm like, fuck. Well, and so he, and so we, we go and we actually, I think um, I'm going to wear like this corset kind of ensemble from what Katie did because I need something that will cover all the things. <laughs> and um, But so like, I guess be kind of sexy. And I was like, well, what shoes do I wear with it? I'm like, 
I actually said this. I go, can I just wear like slippers or flip flops? <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, no, you wear heels. What's wrong with you? And I'm like, I don't want to wear heels. By the way, though, wearing heels at the mansion is rough. I know. Because everything's like cobblestone and steps everywhere yes. and grass. Do, do stripper heels. Because those those are those are a high heel that is designed for action. Uh, you and know long what? shifts. That is true. And I didn't know that until I took a twerk shop. So I took like I I took a um I took a pole I did dancing. Not know this. Yeah, I took twerk a pole dancing shop? class and I didn't know that stripper shoes are specifically designed like to have grip on them when you mm-hmm. go up the pole and like comfort to, and, and comfort art support. and art support. I was shocked. And this is why like, Helen Mirren wears them to every single premiere. I don't know if you know this. Helen Mirren wears stripper shoes all the time because they're the most comfortable of heels. Wow. Yeah. I couldn't believe it. I was like, I can run in these. Well, people think because they're so high that they're harder to walk in. But because the platform's so big, your your foot is not actually at such a drastic like angle. So it's they're not that hard to walk in. It's incredible. You just have to watch out for the roll. Like the cobble, cobblestones and stripper heels don't go well together because if you get on an edge, you can roll that hole. Yeah. Yeah. Just make sure you get the ones with ankle straps. Yeah. Yeah. I have. Or wear, yes. or wear a boot. Yeah. Those or wear, have, have or wear booty ones slippers. that give some, or wear slippers. <laughs> <laughs> slippers. You know, there's nurses seem to wear these shoes that look very comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Crocs. Don't tempt me because I will totally go no, there. You should get some Crocs and like bling them out with rhinestones. Oh they make God. them already blinged out with rhinestones. How do you know? Okay, oh, you wait, know what? I'm, wait, hold on. I'm not even, I'm not even going to ask her how she knows this because my dear friend, Ryan Keeley, one of her footwear of choice happens to be Tivas. I'm sorry. They're designed for action and adventure. Wait, are those those like lesbian looking yes. sandals? <laughs> yes. Oh, she will send me text messages with her in them and be like, you know, you want it. <laughs> oh my god, those things are the worst. Um, I'm sorry. Not if you need to to wade through a river, which happens to me sometimes. The LA River. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I go camping. Okay, I, I was just I do. in Nevada City. I had to. <laughs> Everyone else lost their flip flops in the river, and I was protected and did not slip on the slippery ass river rocks. Okay, and everyone was really amazed. Because I wore appropriate footwear. You're like bitches. I come prepared. <laughs> well, now in that friend group, every month I'm starting to send each one of the uh, the people in the group a pair of tivas. <laughs> and uh, well, the best part about that is that like. So everyone made fun of me for my Tivas, and then they were surprised and impressed by the functionality. <laughs> and <laughs> and uh, now my good friend's boyfriend has said that he's not going to propose because she wore them the entire trip in Tulum. <laughs> I feel like that my boyfriend would say the same thing to me. He like hates them with a the passion. Oh, yeah, they're. But I do have to. I, I have. I have to give her. <laughs> A little break because she is from Washington State. Uh, okay, <laughs> you know it comes okay. with the territory, though it does. It's yeah. like she's like she's saying she she's prepared for adventure. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. Yeah, so I've got so. my lightweight uh, sneaker Doc Martens because regular Doc Martens are too hot for LA. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even notice that those were uh, like canvas ones. Oh. You really do think like everything through. It's kind of amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Not everything. <laughs> Let's talk about my born career. <laughs> <laughs> At least we all made bad choices together. Yes! <laughs> Here's the bad choices. Here's the awesome Holly Randall mugs. Here's the yeah. bad choice. Are these available for purchase? Um, they could be. I yes. Why not? I'm going to just not wash these because you guys drank out of them and I'm gonna auction them off. I, because I, my yeah, just lick them. Should I put like part of this in my vagina? Yes, area? yes, please do. Just shove that <laughs> fucking mug in your just vagina, pee, just pee in and it. it'll just be worth it. so much more money. Just pee in it. All right, it, it grazed my pubic area. All right, <clears throat> delicious. <laughs> <laughs> um, As a fish out of pubic. <laughs> Dude, with my job, my day job as a bikini waxer, my fear of pubes is non-existent anymore. Yeah, Completely you probably not- love finding ones, like stray ones. You're like, let me get that. <laughs> <laughs> It's true. true okay, no, that's that's ingrown hairs that I get excited about. <laughs> Everyone Thank gets you, excited about ingrown hairs. Come on. <laughs> Everyone loves to take those out. Right? Yeah. That and d- pimple pop. Oh. Oh, uh, do you stuff. watch those videos on Dr. like pimple YouTube? Popper, yeah. I kind of do too, and it's it really embarrassing. It doesn't gross me out. It's like a, that satisfaction, that feeling of yeah, satisfaction. It like is. it got out. That's why I'm, it's I'm, such... a, I'm a picker. I won't even have like you can't even see it, but I look this close in the mirror. Oh, I do too. And I see it and I'm like, it must get out. <laughs> and then I make it worse. Oh, I do too. I totally do that. It's the worst. 
I think like magnif it's like magnifying mirrors are almost a curse, but they're also the greatest thing ever. Like, not, do you ever yeah. go, okay, get, since we're all a little bit older and you know, like certain things pop up when you get older, <laughs> like do you the, ever, the hair on the side of your cheek, yes, the one do, hair that you're like, <clears throat> do you ever like go away on like a vacation for a week or whatever and you don't bring your magnifying mirror because it's a large thing to take with you. And then you get home and you get in front of your magnifying mirror and you're like, oh my God, <laughs> there's like all these chin hairs and stuff. And eyebrow that have hairs. Popped out and you're like, where did that? And like, like my boyfriend was looking at me really close the whole time. Like I'm going to throw, oh God, it's the worst. It's the worst. <laughs> <laughs> Very upsetting for me. I'm not allowed to have magnifying mirrors. It's just, it's no. It's well, yeah, and you're also esthetician. So yeah. yeah, I mean, I technically do have a mag lamp, so I could definitely get in there, but. I just think they're dangerous, you know, but I do keep tweezers in the car because I feel like whenever you're in traffic, that's when you yes, get it. Because, because the light, the, the window light yeah. and in the rear view mirror and you, oh my God, I do the same thing. <laughs> I don't. So we're really <laughs> gross. <laughs> yeah, please. You guys are so hot. The, joy, mm. the joys of getting older. It's really funny that you say that. You're like, now that we're older, because literally this morning I was having sex with my husband and he kind of like moved my leg and it tweaked my bad knee because I sprained my knee. <laughs> snow- I, I sprained my knee snowboarding <laughs> years ago and it still hurts. And he was like putting pressure on it. And I just started yelling. I was like, stop, stop, stop. And then I go, I'm 35, not 25. <laughs> Very true story. Not oh, no, totally. I'll be like, I'll d- yeah, I'll be like, oh, my hip or yeah. like, oh, I'm getting a foot cramp yeah. or yeah. <laughs> That's probably how I hurt my neck. I can't turn my neck all the way to the right today. And it was fine. I think this morning. So I think it happened during sex. Have we talked about my lesbian uh, pussy looking TMJ issues? No. <laughs> I, I have developed. So fortunately, I took five years off. But back when I was shooting like a lot more lesbian porn, I have TMJ, but only on the side of my mouth because mm-hmm. I'm always like. Wait, TMJ is is the thing where your jaw cramps. Yeah, it's it, like, but what does it stand for? It's a long ass. I word. don't remember the something t- something jaw. <laughs> t- let me let the we're, we're googling. Yeah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hold, <laughs> young Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I can totally see that because the problem is, is that you know, with like shooting porn as opposed to like just licking vagina regularly, you have to. The camera has to be able to see mm-hmm. the angle and see what's going on. So you can't just like bury your head in someone's face. You have to kind of like stick your tongue and, out to the side and like look sideways. Yeah. Yeah. So that I can see right. your tongue in the vagina. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's the uh, same like with like porn, like with guys, you know, they have to like fuck sideways. Right. Mm-hmm. So you can see the penetration. You can't have like, it's not like real sex at all, at all. Temporal no. mandib- mandibular joint disorder. Oh, okay. See? So, we learned something new. The J didn't even stand for jaw. Disappointed I know, myself right? not knowing that. I know. Well, now we know. Well, mandible I've... is jaw. Mm. So, you know, Latin. <clears throat> oh. No, I don't know Latin. <laughs> You're magna cum laude. <laughs> and the fact that you just said it that way. <laughs> Instead of magna cum laude. <laughs> I, I may have graduated magna cum laude, but I never took Latin in my life. So, God, you just did, like, any time that's mentioned, I always get some creepy porno dude who's always like, magna cum laude. <laughs> I think my spirit animal is a creepy porn dude. Yeah, you are, you're a dirty old man for sure. I was, yeah, so I finally, so I shot Ryan uh, fairly recently mm-hmm. um, after she was back in porn. And because, you know, now anybody over the age of 26 is a MILF in the porn industry. <laughs> Um, I had to shoot her as a uh, MILF and <laughs> I was just basically like, cause at first I really kind of tried to stay away from the whole stepmom genre thing. I was just not into that. It kind of, I found it a little bit weird, but you know, it was basically like, do you want to work or do you want to have morals? So I was like, Story fuck the morals. <laughs> I have been everyone's favorite stepmom for the past five years. Yeah, exactly. So I shot with Ryan and I was just, she's like, so how do you want me for the scene? I'm like, just creepy. Just super fucking creepy. Just be as, and I feel like it's fine, you know, with, yeah. cause it's with girls. Yeah. So it's okay. So it's funny. So I'm just like, dude, creep it the fuck up. Like be, but like with guys, then it's creepy. Then with it's girls, creepy. it's funny. Yeah. So yeah. So was, she was really good. Yeah. She was. Is real- the scene out yet? Uh, I want to. I want to. No, see it's it. not. It's Ooh. not out yet. No, it was. It, it was for up. Twisties. Oh, good. Was it with I have a login. Alex Ember Stone. Ember Stone. Ember Stone. <laughs> you were creepy for no You can't even remember your name. <laughs> you know. What would you say? Actually, okay. They're so, all spitters. All I'm having sex with oh. is like 20 year old spitters. Yeah. They all look exactly the same. <laughs> they <laughs> spitters. No. Like they spit on you. Spinners. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. I know what that is. For those of you who don't know what a spinner is, a spinner is like a small petite girl that you can put on your dick and then spin them. Did like, you see like there's a, top. a girl who I just discovered is in porn um, via Twitter, uh, but she's four nine oh and God. 72 pounds. And oh. she posted a gif of her literally doing the spinner thing. Oh, what's her name? I don't know. It wasn't Piper Perry, was it? No. Yes, okay. I think that was it. Yes, okay, that so girl, it looks tight. like she's 12. Yeah, okay, she's and, tiny. And, and Piper, okay, so she was on DP Star when I was the judge. Her foot is the same size as my hand. I am, sh- I shit you not. Like, I put her foot up to my hand, same size. Is she a dwarf? Actually, no, no, no I think te- she's just really. No, technically, um, I think it's five, uh, four, four foot ten. You're legally a little person because my neighbor, <laughs> a really good friend of mine, she's four foot eleven, and we always tease her how tiny she is, and she's like, "I'm one inch above the legal." <laughs> oh, <laughs> she tells really? Us she's not a little person because she's one inch above. <laughs> oh, because she's like proportional. Yeah, yeah. So. yeah but that's uh, legally they don't care if you're proportional or not it's by your height. So. Yeah, um, and there's a, there's a bunch of different ways that you can be little. <laughs> Some it's a dwar- like, dwarfism like is bite. a thing. It's like a specific disorder. Okay, <laughs> there's a bunch of ways that you can be little. There is also thalidomide. Whatever. <laughs> you can take the blue pill and then you shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> or you can just be a bad person and then you. Wait, I'm sorry, I'm, not, like, I'm thinking of a word that like would describe somebody who like is pe- petty. Be petty. Mm-hmm. Be right. Me. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with that. I was trying to sound God, smart Holly. and clever, and Jeez. it just failed really Jeez. badly. Yeah, I think you need an extra shot in that cold brew. I do. I do. Of espresso, by the way, people. Yes. I have a nitro cold brew with espresso shot in there because I need to put drugs in my system somehow. I, <laughs> it can't, can't be actual drugs or alcohol, so I'm just like, give me all the caffeine. I know. I love it. She went in earlier. She mentioned about the meth, and then she's like, no, I just drink a lot of caffeine. It's like everyone's just... Caffeine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, you gotta, get, you gotta get it somewhere. Fuck. So, um, actually, so now that you're back, yes. what has been your favorite scene that you've shot so far since you're back? Or what has been the most ridiculous scene that you've shot since you've been back? I liked having sex with Joanna Angel recently. I got a banger for Penthouse because I was like, grown ass lady sex. <laughs> <laughs> you know how to fuck. That's true. <laughs> lady sex. No, I get very someone excited. I get it excited when it's someone who's like 30 or older. I'm yeah. Like, yeah. Yes. I know, right? Because they like know what they're doing, yeah. and they and don't... I feel like you have more in common to talk to them about on mm-hmm. set while you're sitting around. Like, yeah. There's girls I sit around on set and literally. Well, this happened to me recently. Tell, tell us. Tell me more. Yes, yes. Not to stray from your Joanna Angel story. I love Joanna Angel. I was That's on, the story. The sex was good. Tell I yours. Was, <laughs> <laughs> so I was on set recently, and this you'll appreciate this story because... Actually, let me rewind. I got I got two funny things you gotta, about... You, you got to set it up. Set it yeah, up. Yeah, I'm going to do the setup. So Holly used to say that she would feel old in porn when she shot a girl who was born the year she graduated high school. Yes. And then she did. Yes. <laughs> and then one day I'm on and I hear about it from Holly because we're good friends. If anyone, you know, Holly and I actually go back. God, we've known each other for almost 15 years now. Yeah, it's been a long like this time. This coming March will be like literally in like we're 14 and a half years ago. We, you I, shot me for the first time. Oh my God. I just suddenly thought I was younger than I was. I almost said, <laughs> I'm like, wait, no, I've only been porn for 10 years. That's not true. I've been no. in porn for 19 years. Yeah. <laughs> We're, I would just have it in my head because, like, I can't come to terms with the fact of how old I am. Yeah. Well, I'm right there with you. <laughs> Support system here. <laughs> but um, so Holly always said that, like, you know, when when she shot a girl who was born the year she graduated high school, she would feel old. And then she did, and I heard about it. And I'm sitting on set, and I got her shoot with this girl, and they were shooting a, another scene before us. And we start talking, and she's actually from the same, like, like literally the city next to where I grew up here in L.A. So we start talking and stuff, you know, something in common with me and I think she just turned 18, like, two months before we shot. Mm -hmm. And then she starts to tell me, oh, yeah, I shot with Holly Randall. And she told me I'm the youngest girl that she's ever shot. And I was like, oh, great. You're the girl. And then she proceeds to tell me that she's still in high school. Like, she was 18, but she was still in high school. Oh, I remember this story. And I was, like, sitting there, and I was on my computer. And I start iMessaging you and my husband. I was like, oh, no, this is fucked up. This is really fucked up. (laughs) (laughs) So to preface, like, I have shot with a girl who was that young but then now that i'm a little older i was on set with melissa moore recently Mm -hmm. and we started chatting and craven moorhead who i've known since before i was even in front of the camera in the business we started talking and we were laughing you know about how long we've been in porn and he mentions to her like oh well your dad probably watched you know some of my movies and she's like oh yeah probably and then i'm like 
oh, he probably saw some of my stuff. And then I'm like, how old are your parents? And then she goes, 35, 36. And I was like, oh, <laughs> I'm 35. I'm almost 36. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I technically have shot with a girl recently that I am the same age as her parents. Yeah, that's Hot. happened to me too. That makes me feel old. Yeah. It's just like and and wrong. <laughs> yeah, it's it's very upsetting. <laughs> not the good wrong. No. Yeah. There, yeah. There's good wrong and there's bad wrong, and yeah. that's that's the bad wrong. Yeah. So I'm like, mm, yeah. What's this, my life come to? <laughs> it's and it's funny too because like I shot this girl the other day who and it was a milf scene of course, or like a stepmom scene, whatever. And they were kind of like, they, I didn't really get a script. So I was just like, okay, just ad lib like some shit. And it's always like the stepmom's mad at like the stepdaughter and they're just like mad at each other. And then they like have sex. They're so bad at each other. And then they have sex. It doesn't make any sense, but it's porn. It's, it's fine. It, fucking. Yeah. It never makes sense. So anyway, so they're like insulting each other and she's just saying this stuff that just like, and she clearly has like, she doesn't really know how to talk to people properly. And she's just saying these things are just like super offensive. She was like, you old hag, you have like a dried up crusty vagina. And like, I'm like, Oh girl, like, can you be a little more delicate than that? And then I shot the scene where it was, um, okay. So the scenario was there was the milf and then there was her son's girlfriend who she ends up having sex with. Right. And the girl <laughs> says to her in the middle of the scene, she goes, oh my God, your vagina is so hot. It doesn't even look like my boyfriend came out of there. <laughs> oh, yeah. And the girl just looks at me and I was just like, oh no. I was like, let's not talk about giving birth. Can we just like skip that part. It was just like, because they just don't know. You know what I mean? When you're 18, you're like, yeah. I'm never going to be old. And, <laughs> Oh, the Jesus. best that I've shot with recently that just fires out like <laughs> one liners. And, and whenever I hear those, I'm like, Ooh, all the fucked up shit in your head. Like yeah. I look at them, like, how yeah. did you even think it to come up with that line? Yeah. Um, but Elsa Jean, I shot with her oh, right, yeah, yeah. like earlier this year. And I don't remember what the line was, but literally like, I'm pretty good about never breaking character. And like, yeah. even if I find something funny, I can just like yeah. stay face and move on. I lost it. Like I started laughing so hard, the shit that came out of her mouth. And I like had to look at the crew and I was like, I am so sorry, but I, she's hilarious. Oh my God. And I don't remember what it was. It was a, it was actually one of the most fucked up scenarios I've ever shot though. Oh really? What was it? She, she was my stepdaughter and she is in high school and she thought she was pregnant. And so I had to, was it for girls way? Yeah. I fucking knew it. They have some fucking sick twisted well, ideas well i'm there i'm girls like girl of the year this year and congratulations. so thank congratulations thank you and, which i was very excited about mind you talking about being older than everyone else i was the <laughs> oldest person in the co- in the competition by far and i like killed it in in the i mean the it contest, makes sense so. you've always been very popular and you have Everyone's a big following mommy. <laughs> <laughs> that's like that's what we, that's what they call me on set everybody's favorite mommy um but no it's yeah it's so it i like she thought she was pregnant and um I had to like look in her vagina and tell her she wasn't. And it was like really fucked You're up. Like, but, I don't see a baby yeah. in here. <laughs> no. Yeah. And then I'm like, let me lick it to see if you are. Maybe I can tease it out with my tongue. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> what the fuck? Did you get a speculum? Was it like no. the old Max Hardcore get days? No, did no, you, no, no, no. did you get a co <laughs> That would hey, totally be me. This is not Texas, Holly. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> <laughs> sorry no but yeah terrible. <laughs> no some of the, some of those scenarios yeah wow what about you ryan <sighs> the weirdest scenario yeah or like what's the most fucked up thing someone said to you like in a scene Do you um, think of anything i mean the only thing i can think of is when i was shooting for a company that i refused to shoot for anymore when the director the whole t- ordered the wrong size clothes for me like i i sent them my size and i showed up and they had like I'm like, I'm a medium large. And they, everything was an extra small. <laughs> I was like, yeah. Yeah, I'm five nine guys. Like, and I got to set and it was, I had to fly out there and I got to set and I made myself a sandwich and I couldn't fit into the clothes. The director's like, maybe you shouldn't have eaten that sandwich. <gasps> oh, I would have fucking murdered him. And I was like, I'm sorry. I'm supposed to get naked and fuck for you now. Like, <laughs> oh, why would you say that? Why? why? Yeah. That's fucked up. Yeah. That's fucked up. What's the worst experience you've had on set? I actually had my worst experience most recently. Yesterday when you were with me. Yeah. <laughs> you guys no. were together yesterday? We were. Yeah. We, we, she Holly did. and I are together every day. I, I would have come and hung out. <laughs> no, we, um, I, I do the Twisties interviews, which you know, mm-hmm. you yes. filled in for me when I'm not available before. Um, so we shot uh, the next treat interview mm-hmm. um, oh. yesterday. Oh, you, you're shooting the treat interviews. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I Mama. shoot... Um, 
I shoot the treat most of the time. Mm-hmm. They're, they're solos and then yeah. Yeah, the interview. It used to be that Dean would shoot the interview with a girl girl, but they've switched it up. Oh, okay. That makes I guess. Sense. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, sometimes. But then last, sometimes, month, but then, last month I shot it with him too. So it's kind of like, yeah. Well, I couldn't shoot it last month because yeah. I turned down a bunch of scenes for a certain company that we know and then they canceled my job. Um, I lost a bunch of work and I'm super pissed at them. Let's light them on fire. I would be mm. mad too. Actually, all of us don't like them. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I forgot. <laughs> you had, we, we had, had an issue with them too. We yeah. Had this conversation. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think. Oh, yeah, you did too. Mm. Oh, yeah, we've all. Yeah. There's porno beef, but we're, we're ladies. So we're just going to say, <laughs> yeah. Bless we, their heart. Yeah. Bless their heart. We don't, we don't, we don't <laughs> publicly bash, but we bash behind closed doors. Yeah. Don't, I mean, <laughs> God, what was it? Someone said something the other day on camera or no, or they, they tweeted it. I can't remember. And I was like, why can't you just talk shit about people behind their back like a normal fucking person? <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> why are you going to like come on and start drama like out in the public sphere? Like, come on. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure it was on Twitter because like people say all everyone puts all their beef stupid on Twitter. shit on fucking social media. Yeah. My favorite. So I'm not good at following Twitter beef, but whenever I want to see some good twi- Twitter beef, I hit up Dana DeArmond because she has got like all of the good gossip on lock. And she's like, no, follow this girl. She's having a meltdown. And I'm like, what? really? <laughs> I love I didn't Dana. I know that. <laughs> yes. Dana's oh, good. okay, great. You I have would- to have Dana on the show. Dana, I should. She's a delight. She is hilarious. She's so mean. And it's my favorite thing about her. <laughs> I've been afraid of her. I've known Dana. I've been afraid of her. (laughs) I've been afraid of her for like 10 years, 10 plus years. (laughs) I know why I remember this. Well, I was a PA on her first movie, uh, which was Dana does the internet because she was the internet's girlfriend. Mm -hmm. And I ended it for vivid alt when that was a thing and that she had her uh, starring feature movie and I was her PA on it. And she was, I mean, she's always been terrifying. Um, (laughs) No, I remember that when I first met her, you told me the story and you're like, I'm scared of her. And then, you know, and we're still friends. No, I'm terrified. No, I love her. Yeah. She's awesome. Um, Oh, no, my story, going back to uh, my worst experience. It was recently, and it was the worst experience, not because something like bad happened with like the scene or the talent I was working with, but. Did you just pull out of your bra? My parking ticket. It was itching me. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Joanna Sorry talking. about I that. To was, my nipples, you were just okay? like. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm looking at your face and you're Pulling all. Pulling all this like shit out of her bra. magic like, show. It's just like. I know. <laughs> keep talking. I'll keep fondling. <laughs> she just all of a sudden like pulls like these scarves out of her top. Just, okay. Sorry. Twelve clowns pop out. Okay. So this was the worst experience on okay. set. Not. So yeah. It wasn't. had nothing to do with talent or like the actual sex scene. But um, I had a 5 p.m. call time because I had to be in night shoots. And then it kept going and going and going. Oh, I know what you're talking about. we didn't actually start shooting the scene or we had all this like smaller like cut in stuff and storyline stuff to shoot. And we didn't actually start shooting like the stills for the scene until like 3.30 in the morning. It was outside. It was freezing. I was in the damn horse stable and they had put fresh like shavings down in the horse stable. But there was still like dried horse shit laying around. And then they wanted us to fuck on like a hay bale with nothing on it. And I was like, um... And it was like my first day of a few days you shooting. You can't do that. No, and People I was, will break out. Yeah. And so that's what I said. And I have really sensitive skin and they know that. And so it's company I work for That's all the why time. you have Mexican blankets. That's why I <laughs> so, have an entire bag of fur throws yeah. and different blankets, like picnic blankets, Mexican blankets, fur throw, everything yeah. for that specific reason to put down yeah. on things. So you're not having sex on fucking hay. Yeah, like so that's I, ridiculous. So I asked, cause I see in the script we're in, in a, a barn and so i was like um what are we having sex on and he's like a hay bale and i'm like um are you putting a blanket on it and he was like no and i'm like well if you expect like my skin to stay okay through this next week of shooting like you need to put something down so granted it's kind of you know it's kind of itchy like you saw the blanket but you have kneeling in the sawdust and stuff and and also to this sticks stick out yeah the blanket i actually usually double blanket now or yeah. i put a ferny pad down and then i put the blanket on top of it yeah, people don't know everything that goes into the porn yeah. shoot. There's so, a lot of little things. So that... it gets even better. So then we have to do all that. And then I had to wear contacts for this. And I don't, I can't wear contacts. I never had until this. Mm-hmm. The director actually never asked anyone if they could wear contacts or not. And it was like an integral part. So they forced contacts in my eyes. It literally oh. took like an hour. Oh. I'm like tearing. Like it's so irritated. My eyes are burning. So my eyes are burning and all that's going on. I'm freezing to death. I'm outside. And then like, I have to get water dumped all over me at the end of the scene. And like, it was just miserable. And I didn't get home until like six 30 in the morning and I'm driving home. And I thought it was Friday for some reason, like Friday night, that it was Saturday the next day. And I'm driving home and I'm like, why is there so much traffic? And I'm like, Oh shit. It's 
Friday. It's not Saturday. <laughs> and I, at the time I had a full, like a real job and I re- was like, oh shit. I like, I, I work from home, but still like I have stuff to do. Mm-hmm. And so it was just, and I had a, yeah, it was just a miserable experience. And that's what I kept telling everyone, like what they were putting me through. It was almost like being waterboarded, yeah. like get putting those, you know, contacts yeah. in my eyes and, and just the cold and like everything combined. And I was so tired. And then the girl that I was shooting with, I love her to death, but she kept like putting too much pressure on my chest, like putting all her weight on my chest and like it was hurting. And it was just like overall most miserable experience, but everyone on set knows me and they know I'm so easy. Like mm-hmm. really have I ever, like every time I shot with you, have I been a complainer or anything? No, no. but I wouldn't put you through that. Yeah. But <laughs> and, and everyone on the crew was like looking at me and I was just looking them in the eyes and like, they knew they yeah. were like, you are pushing her to her yeah. like, that that line see the thing is is like i hear these stories about these crazy long shoot days you know like fucking 22 hours yeah. 23 hours and and i just must not care that much about my product because i'm there's no fucking way like i've done i think the longest i ever did i might have done an 18 hour shoot once which was horrible but like honestly like 10 hours is generally yeah enough for me mm-hmm. 12 hours is, is pushing it like i'm done like i want to go home like there is no porno on this planet that is <laughs> worth shooting 22 fucking hours for i'm sorry it's not like it's just not worth it particularly because the shit that takes that long is the stuff that everyone fast forwards i know <laughs> like, yeah, it's not even the sex it's just the. i know it's so funny because it's like when we watch our scenes, mm-hmm. we only watch the dialogue part, right? Because that's all we care about. I yeah. just fast forward. I can't watch the sex. Like whenever I have to review mm-hmm. a scene that I've shot, you know, before it like goes on my website or whatever, I'll watch like the dialogue part and then I make my assistant watch the sex part because I just don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't want to like, I was there. I, already I was there. It. I know what happened. I just need <laughs> you to make sure like you don't hear my voice in the background. There's not like a fly in her vagina or something like that. But I'm just not. I'm just not. <laughs> I do have a question for you. Yeah. Holly Randall. Yes. Jelena Jensen. <laughs> mm. Do you watch porn? Cause you've been around the porn industry for so long that like, do you ever, is there any type of porn that like does it for you? If I watch porn, it's some really sick twisted things that yes. I probably shouldn't talk about. Do you about get into publicly. anime? I have watched some anime. There was a period. Tentacles and shit. Yeah, there some was hentai. a period or like the monsters. Yes. Monsters having sex with like, Poor women. In I'm the new into some weird Beauty shit. Beauty the Beast. Were you so disappointed when you turned back into a prince? I didn't watch that. I haven't seen it. Okay, have you seen? <laughs> I love that you barely watch movies or TV, and then the one that you pull. Out have of you your seen? Ass um, <laughs> dude, you've seen Bram Stoker's Dracula, right? Yes. Okay, you know the part where like the werewolves fucking uh, Lucy. Mm-hmm. I think outside. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I might have masturbated yeah. that part. Yeah, I just like <laughs> I just like very dominant like male figures and i've been in porn for so long that like it's morphed into a monster devil <laughs> like that's just well because that's why i was curious because not only have you worked in the business this long but because of your mom you've been around like, porn, porn forever your yeah. entire pretty much your entire life yeah. i mean i know that they didn't like go here holly watch this when yeah you were but a kid, i totally like but you knew what was going on yeah. and looked at it i probably watched my first porn before i was 10 yeah yeah so that's why I was curious is like if it ever did anything for you because yeah, like, for I, me it doesn't. And no. I, I wasn't a porn watcher before I got in the business and then being in the business has just made it like yeah. I more so if I ever watch anything it's just like tiny little trailers or clips. Like I yeah. don't ever just watch if, like a porn movie. If I'm going to watch porn like I'll find like gifts because usually I can find something that's like attractive looking where I don't recognize yeah. anyone. Yeah, that's the other thing too. I know everybody <laughs> you know in the everyone, business. Yeah. I can't masturbate to people that I know. And, and we'll say and we Gossip know- Girl first four seasons. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, but see, that's that's because you like to masturbate to good looking pee hole. That's true. I'm into like the uglier the better. I'm not kidding. Oh, like I'm about, like, totally into like Vincent ugly D'Onofrio as dudes, Pen? like fucking girls. Yeah. Did you ever see I the minion in our business? There was that. Oh, guy, the minion? okay. That yes, but that's gross. That's too much. Like, that's too well, far well he like was eating pizza yeah. and he'd have like food all over him. I'm not unhygienic. <laughs> I'm just sick and twisted, <laughs> but I'm not into like like food inside. Yeah, no, food he and sex was never mix. He was he was gross. I like like just I just like super dominant mm-hmm. men. Yeah, or monsters, werewolves, or, or monsters. werewolves, <laughs> or squids, <laughs> <with> tentacles, <laughs> or. But generally, usually, if I if you I want to be fearing for your life, uh, and, yeah, and then that's... yeah, I want to feel like I might die. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm into that. I'm into that. Well, I always like that, like in the the hentai with the like the demon tentacles. How sometimes they like ex- the demon uh, cum shot explodes the lady. 
I d- <laughs> <laughs> look at her. She's like, my panties just got wet. I haven't seen those ones. Okay, so we need to maybe. Are we having a girls' night? <laughs> yes. I would like to watch your Sakadoji Legend of the Overfiend because that's such a nerd. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Uh, it is a lot of words in it, though. The most important uh, tentacle porn of all time. Okay. I think that might have actually been the first tentacle porn. Oh, oh, we're gonna get very into history of tentacle genre. porn. You know, I got a lot of time on my hands. <laughs> Okay, so wait, let's segue that into um, that your personal life. Yes. Because uh, we, she is some, she's, she needs. To- Ryan Keeley is newly single. No, Ryan Keeley is I newly single. Fuck everyone. Watch out. <laughs> hide your wives, hide your daughters. <laughs> they were raping everybody up in here. <laughs> Stepmom's coming. <laughs> yeah. Um, yes. 100%. Yeah. So I had been with a guy for um, almost three years and uh, I found a great deal in a place and I asked him to move in, in with me. And after two weeks, he, I still hadn't had an answer. And I'm like, you know, after two weeks, no answer is an answer. Yeah. <laughs> and not only that, after being with someone that long, it's like, you know, step up to the plate or I'm wasting my time. Seriously, bro. So I'm about to go on. A, well, I my fuck spree has started. <laughs> um, I am on Bumble. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Spree 2017. <laughs> that is well, the next movie. <laughs> and I can't get approved for Raya, and it hurts my goddamn heart. What's that? Raya is like the uh, the dating app for like Insta thoughts, and what? we list celebrities. Yeah, it's a it's an exclusive dating app that you have to be like invited to, and I'm like, and I'm not cool enough to be on it. It makes and it hurts my heart so much because I've had sex with B list celebrities. And like, how dare you say that I can't troll for them wait, online? <laughs> wait, is it a date? Is it a dating app yes. for B-list celebrities? And and like Insta that exists. Models. Yes, that's amazing. It's called Raya, and I can't get approved, and it hurts. Who's my soul. on there? I don't know. Like they won't Poly, let me in. you know, Polly Shore's on there. You for sure. You don't get, is he could, D-list? Yeah, he's like D-list. He's way D-list. No, actually, he's coming up with that that whole new bit on... Yeah, but if you want to have sex with Polly Shore, like, just go to the comedy store. He's yeah, he'll, literally he'll there he's every there night. The like, getting... Avoiding having sex with Polly Shore is more the game. <laughs> <laughs> like, how to not get fucked by Polly Shore. And to be honest, I've actually... There's a few celebrities. I, you know, I'm born and raised in LA, but there's a few celebrities who I have been at the same place, same time, multiple times. Like, I see them often, and yeah. I don't even live near them, and he's one of them. Oh, yeah, he's everywhere. I have all also met him a couple of times and i don't go anywhere like i've been sitting at lunch and like he's his chair is behind my chair like yeah. we're always in the same place him yeah. lance bass and, what and kirsten dunst maybe so, they're stalking you <laughs> and like kirsten, maybe they're big fans and no, they're stalking kirsten dunst, you i'm really upset about that because the first time i ran into her like my my celebrity crush is jake gyllenhaal and at the time they were together and she was at a bar like literally a block away from my house and i saw her and i was like I'm so close. <laughs> Yet so far. I know. I was like, why can't he be here? And it was always so frustrating because I would always see her and never him. You should, I you should try. You have a crush on Jake Gyllenhaal? Yeah, I, I that surprises him. me, really? actually. Yeah, really? It stems from Donnie Darko. I, I tried watching that movie and I what? couldn't get through it. Oh my God, it's one of my favorite movies. It was too we're, weird not friends for me. we're not friends. Did I text you guys okay. while we were watching never Mama? really friends in the first place. <laughs> did I text you guys while watching Mama? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You did. I lost my goddamn mind. You did text both of us about that. <laughs> I yeah. need something else that I need to watch The Conjuring, I think. So I think I might know that's pants. the worst movie. It's, it's so no. bad. But Mama's good. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> here, let's let's tighten. This. Ryan just pulled Can't the mic out of anywhere. the fucking table. <laughs> She's like, watch how strong She's I am. She's like, Arr. I'll see you later. I've been working out like crazy. I guess I do have big news besides being newly single in Fuckfest 2017. <laughs> um, <laughs> is uh I have agreed to participate in Ellis Mania 14, so I'm back boxing training. Ooh. I think I'm going to be fighting Blair Williams. Oh, I know. I love her. Wait. I actually love her. Do like, is this a real match? This is a real match. It's happening in Vegas September 30th. you punch each other in the face? Wait, there's going to be face masks involved. Still, Wait, you're still going to get hit I in the head. do this. Look at, oh, it's actually since you box. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Even though I'm like, my defense is terrible and I'm well, like totally scared of getting hit in the face. What I've discovered is that apparently my, bo- I'm working uh, with a boxing coach, Eddie Abigail Jackson over at Hollywood Boxing Club. He's been awesome with me. And considering the fact that like I lost a rib last year and was like in bed for two months and completely atrophied. But like just 
By the way, people, she didn't lose a rib from boxing. It was no, something no. entirely so something different. It sounded like you lost a rib in a fight. And I just wanted to clarify <laughs> well, that. Well, I've never been in a fight before. So, like, the reason I agreed to do this is it's the fight club. Like, how much do you know about yourself if you've never been in a fight? So, in typical me fashion, it's like, well, I'm not just going to be in a fight. I'm going to fight in Vegas for charity. <laughs> in front of a bunch of people. <laughs> <laughs> but I haven't met Blair Williams and. Then, I was nervous. She's pretty. Because um, she's tall. She's tall. Well, she's tall. And, and she's, she's also very like almost all her mus- muscles. is She has upper body muscle. She's strong. She's pretty strong. So I should be scared. You should, yes. Yeah. You I should I, run. I, no, not run. But I would say let's take the training seriously I have, since I love you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just upset because I was hoping I'd get a smaller girl and I could just like fat man or like Danny Cormier does. <laughs> <laughs> like where's those spinners? <laughs> You're just going to sit on her? <laughs> Quit hitting yourself. Quit hitting yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh I could see God. you doing that. That's way. amazing. I <laughs> totally could too. That. Wow. Yeah. That is that is awesome. But yeah, I should come train with you a couple like for a day you or something. You should. I would love. Yeah, you sh- it would be fun. Yeah, basically all they're having me do is especially wait, especially <laughs> since you're newly single. There's a lot of hot guys at the gym. I, why are all the hot dudes on on Santa Monica on the because west side? Because that's the better place to live. No, I don't mm. like the beach though. I lived on the west side for a while, and I hate it's the worst place I've ever lived in LA. What? Yeah, west side but is the you, best side. Yeah, but you grew up on the west side. I know that's like, and why if your it's whole, the best. But if your whole world is there, like yeah, your I, world, I don't think that's west side. West, I think that's <laughs> ten. I don't no, know what west like, side is. It's like that west side connection. Bow no, down look, when you come to my town. Your middle. I don't know how to. Do, I don't know how to do gang signs. Is that how you do it? We are the whitest girls ever. <laughs> I'm, really, I'm so white. It's really sad. Here hey. we go. I have a his. I have a Hispanic side in my family that's not biological. <laughs> I have a the biological Hispanic side in my family I too. I I'm still d- from Seattle and still listen to ninety percent uh, like news podcasts. So <laughs> actually, you're more white than I am. <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about my tifas again <laughs> yeah that's you. true that's true <laughs> um yeah i uh definitely come box with me that would be really fun oh my gosh yeah that would be so much so fun. blair williams i should be afraid you should be very afraid I'm, I'm gonna afraid. fucking crush her soul i don't think she understands well just emotionally she's, break her way, down and by the way she's hilarious like if you get time to hang out with her though to be honest she was a treat recently mm-hmm. this year and she was one of the best treat interviews i've ever had the girl cracked me up damn was that that wasn't on my set, right? Because I shot no. her solos. Yeah, no. but, okay, so that was with Dean. Yeah. Okay, okay, got it. But got no, it. it was amazing. Wow. And yeah, she's hilarious. She like grew up like a Catholic school girl and she threads that into everything. <laughs> she has a lot of really twisted ideas. Yeah. I remember she came to me when I was shooting her treat thing. She was like, um, you know, I really want to like collaborate about ideas, you know, for my solos. And I was like, okay, sure. She's like, can we do this scene where I'm like masturbating in front of a basketball team and they're just watching me? And I was like, wait, what? No, she has a thing about like fucking like full basketball teams. Like, she didn't know. She didn't want to fuck them. She just wanted them no, to watch does. her masturbate. And I was like, fuck them. I don't think that a basketball team like fits in the budget. So <laughs> I'm going to say no, but maybe you should save that idea for your own website. But I don't think Twisties is going to be down with that. Yeah. No, but she's hilarious. Yeah. So speaking of fighting, I have a funny story because it's kind of relevant. Um, years ago. Mm. So you know how Glow, have you watched Glow on yes, Netflix? Okay. Of course. So you, uh, this was five years ago. I went on a bar crawl with my friends in downtown LA and we were, I forget what hotel, but it's like one of the old really hotels and has like a nice fancy bar in the front. And I go up to the bar to order a drink and these two guys were next to me. I had no idea who I was or anything. And they just start talking to me and they were the two guys who were bringing wow back which was what Women? So there was yeah there was the glamorous ladies of wrestling back in the 80s yeah. and then this you know recently they did um women of wrestling yes and so they just started talking to me about it and they're like we they granted they didn't know i was jelena jensen they knew nothing they just saw me well you're tall and, yeah i'm tall and <laughs> yes. they look at me and, and a babe yeah and and they were like they were putting i mean i had the guy's business card until recently when i cleaned out my office and i actually threw it away and i'm kind of sad now the glow came back but like, yeah you I track them down but but yeah but the guys so they start talking to me and they're like really want me to do the show and they go so what's your ethnicity and so i start telling them and i mentioned that i'm jewish by blood you know yeah. that i'm like 48% Ashkenazi. And they were like, you will be Tel Aviva. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
So my friends I was with, they all lost their shit. They were That's laughing amazing. so hard and they like kept screaming Tel Aviv all night. Right. And I told the guys, no, I took his business card. And it's funny. Cause like I, the reason why I didn't do it was because I was so afraid of getting my ass handed to me. Cause even though wrestling like that is still fake, like, it's not fake. It's still, you I mean, still you take still, it bumps. Yeah, yeah. You still have to go through the motions and learn how to do those flips and those it's falls. Like stunt, and, it's like yeah, stunt. stunt work. And yeah. I, I may be tall and people may think I'm like tough and all that, but I'm pretty small framed. And <laughs> like, I'm weak. I'm a weakling. <laughs> I feel like we should get a tag team together. <laughs> Can you <laughs> I just, number one, our outfits are going to have fringe. That is non-negotiable. <laughs> Because priorities. Um, I think you need to grow out your... will be wearing Tevas. <laughs> yes. And you need to grow out your mullet for this. I, you obviously. Know, I'm real excited. And possibly a rat tail. I just... Oh, a rat tail. Because then you could like whip it around and like hit people with it. Oh, yes. Can you imagine if you'd oh, be like your thing? I, could, no, I don't think I could crap it, but I could take it. I could I'd straight choke people with it. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's good. That's a rear a good braided word. choke? A rear braided choke. I don't, I don't know. That's not even funny. <laughs> <laughs> well, I recently, well, the reason the whole fighting thing came about is that I was hired to shoot a custom video and I got to oil wrestle this girl and it was the best day of my life. <laughs> I, uh, okay. See, I hate oil scenes. We just talked about this yesterday. Oh my God. They're the worst. They just like, it's so hard to clean up afterwards and it stains everything and then it picks up everything. There's always like dirt that you didn't know it was there yeah. that's suddenly there and it's all like, Oh. And hair is sticking everywhere. Oh. Like just the random hair that falls everywhere. out. Everywhere. Like oh. yeah. Oil scenes are the worst. I, I just, uh, every single time I see an oil scene on the internet, I just think like that must have taken forever to clean up. All I can do is think about the cleanup. <laughs> I think just because I'm a producer, I'm like, oh, I just think about the logistics that went into that and just know what a nightmare see, it is. See, this is why I said we people in porn can't watch porn. No, like, no. Uh, you know all the little things that are going on during that yeah. scene. You see a cut and you're like, oh, something happened right there. Yeah. yeah. He lost wood. He couldn't come. Someone yeah. had to fluff him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I know, right? Or I just get mad at the editing. I'm like, why would you cut there? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is this angle? <laughs> <laughs> you call that lighting? <laughs> oh, God. Someone call old man Frady. <laughs> There's some really bad porn out there. God, I miss the, like, the, like, I miss when I first got into porn, like before I was even in front of the camera, it was kind of at like the apex of ridiculousness in porn. This was, you know, when uh, Scott Fainer was still covering for LukeFord.com. Oh, we my had, God. That is a blast from the past. We had, uh, you know, Girlvert with Ashley Blue. We had Max yep. Hardcore. We had basically like circus freak shows. Circus Can I? Freak. I have a Max Hardcore story, by the way, when you're done. He once gave me $20. <laughs> he walked up to me and gave me a hug and $20 and walked away. And I was like, I don't know what just happened, but... I, I will I will have to preface everything. That Max Hardcore may have shot very dirty, extreme stuff, but he was actually a very, very, very nice guy and an extreme gentleman. He I was. Love, yeah. He was Off always camera. really polite to me. Because yeah. my first job in the business, how I got into the business before I was ever a model, was I worked in distribution. And the company that I worked for, we were his main distributor. Like when you went to his website to buy his movies, it went to us. And mm-hmm. we shipped everything out yeah. for him. And so I used to see him all the time. And I also used to go to his house for parties before I was ever mm-hmm. an adult model or any thing and he when the camera's not on he is actually and he's not so like nice. at a at you know a convention or something and he's not on being mm-hmm. max hardcore he is so nice he yeah. just likes to pee in girls mouths it's or and buttholes yes, yes. not a big deal and yeah. make them cry and vomit on his penis yeah yeah the, yeah. yeah and we'll also, also that's like, like his like, goal is to like make you vomit break on his you. Dick. break a girl yeah to break you i once had sex with a guy that like face fucked me until i vomited all over his <gasps> penis and like full on and uh <sighs> projectile <laughs> well it was just it was just like you know like i'm yeah. getting like face fucked like aggressively and he was he was he's not not the biggest guy in the world but he still choked me with his cock um asian dude and <laughs> <laughs> but like um and it was i so i like vomited i tried to pull away and he's like no no slurp it down and i was like <gasps> This just this went to a dark place, but I, I think I'm gonna ride it out, guys. <laughs> well, it's like when you're in that place, it's like you don't want to stop and be like, "Wait a minute, this is actually really unhygienic and disgusting," <laughs> and like, but you just kind of want to keep going with it because you don't want to like break character, like because I'm. Oh very, no, this wasn't my personal life. No, but I, and that's what I'm saying, like because I'm very very submissive, yeah. so. There's a lot of things that I will do when I'm in that state mm-hmm. that I would like. If you ask me right now, like. Would you eat a guy's ass? I'd be like, no. But like, if a guy like sits on my face and is like, eat my ass, you little dirty whore. I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> I'll eat it all day. But like, it, yeah. And then, yeah, I've definitely, I have almost it's a, in the sort of thing, right? Yeah. I've sort of like kind of cocked up, cocked up, vomited up a little bit, like just a little. Yeah. It's like a tiny bit. Just a little. Can't really tell. I just kind of wipe it away with my hand. And just spit up. <laughs> yeah. Just like just a little well, extra lube. Like, well, I was, I don't know why, but I was trying to play it off. And I was like, yeah, I've done it too. <laughs> Those awkward sexual moments, something really bad happens. You just try to like totally try to play it off. Yeah, it doesn't work out. No, no, it's 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 bad. What's I do, like, I do we, have to say, I've never puked during. No, sex. yeah, it's. I not, have a bad g- gag reflex, but it's I um, not fun. yeah, I thankfully have never gotten to that point. Someone told me the other day I it, have dry heaved. Was it you? Yesterday we were talking well, about it. We were talking it. about like the if thumb, you, if you grab okay, if you grab your left thumb and you like squeeze it really hard while yeah, someone's you throating you, you won't gag. I'm totally like gonna is. try that. No, I know, I- right? That's what I said too. I was so excited. I was like, because oh, like I feel I get really sad when I can't because sometimes I can get it all the way down and sometimes I can't. Yeah. And I don't know why I can't when I can't. It's supposedly I think it's the left. The, I believe it's the left. I think it's an angle thing, and also like the density of the of the boner, like well, and so, how hard it is. Yeah, like, yeah if it's, that's if true. It's pliable, and if it's pliable, <laughs> then you're it's good. like half limp. Yeah, then it'll just go with <laughs> it'll the flow. Just it'll slide angle. on down like a smoothie. Does it jostle the uvula? <laughs> <laughs> Being fucked upside down like kind of works. If you're like laying on your back and you're like throat I look fucking at you butthole, upside down, though, and I am so not into but I hate looking at. I hate sixty nine. I hate butthole. One hundred percent love pussy. Love cock, hate butthole. I'm all right with it. I don't know. You're butt shy. It's it is the eye of Sauron. Can I can I tell you can I tell you what's so <laughs> the funny? The eye of Sauron? Yeah, from Lord of the Rings. I thought you said the eye of sorrow. Well that too. <laughs> it's where all my dreams go to die. <laughs> No, I recently, like literally two weeks ago, I edited an old BTS video of me and you shooting together. And because I, I was going through all my content and was like, oh, I never used this. And I was watching it. And it's so funny because there's literally this like five minute whole thing while we're waiting for the photographer to get there that you and I talk about like enemas and butts. And like you're talking about how butt shy you are. And then recently um, I was going through the Twisties websites looking at some of the... <laughs> Um, and I looked at the interview you did with Adriana Chechik and you guys were talking about it the whole time. So I was like, Ryan sure has this butt shy thing. So you're still not into the butthole. And it's, I, I thought that I'd be coming around to it cause now I have a day job as a bikini waxer. So I touched like yesterday I touched eight buttholes. <laughs> 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 so like, I keep like hoping for that moment when I'm like just going to get, and it's just, it's just not happening for me. But Adrian, how many of them, how many of those eight winked at you? They all wink because I I have to poke at them. (laughs) (laughs) I use a hair removal technique called sugaring, which it's a lot more. It's not like just wiping wax on and like ripping it off. Like I I take a ball of sugar and I wipe it on and then I flick it off. So I'm literally like just rubbing genitals. (laughs) No matter my life choice, no matter what job I go for. Do you make small talk during it? (laughs) Yes, actually. <laughs> you have to cuz people get like I notice that like when I when when I get mm-hmm. a colonic like the lady has to talk to me the whole time. And I'm like you don't have to make small talk like I don't care. I feel like, like that'd be more oh, awkward than just laying good. there and having a service. I just want to sit there and like look at my poop go through a I still haven't had one. I haven't oh, either. Let's so... go together. Oh, friend day. <laughs> <laughs> can you come too? Because you can like give us pointers and like walk <laughs> us through it. Is yes. there a group on? Like we can... <laughs> There probably is, by the way. Probably. I don't know, though. I feel like you get what you pay for. You, honestly, clonics are great. I love them. I've no, always to wanted so to. Do app? Had. Let's see. Actually, can we do a GoFundMe? Can we put, <laughs> does this show have a GoFundMe they're, for activities? They're <laughs> not that expensive, no. you know? Actually, you know what we should do? I want we, someone we else. No, we'll like document film it, it and, and, you'll and be then there to sell film it. it. And we'll document this whole process. And, and then And you can it. like interview us during it. That's the small talk. It's interview <laughs> questions. Like, what are you feeling right now? So, <gasps> I oh my qu- God, that's what I should do with this podcast. Everyone has to get a clonic <laughs> while I interview them. Or, I, <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> that's amazing. Like, she's really thinking about it. She's like, hmm, how, do we, how do we do this? So, questions about colonics, Holly. Yeah. So, yes. after I get that, well, my butt will be cleaner than anyone's butt has ever been. Correct? Yes. So, and is that the time you feel very sex? light? Yes, absolutely. So, I should go get a colonic and then get. It's like extreme yes. enema. Yes. Do you want to shoot my, my, my. First anal? First anal? <laughs> Why are you looking at her? 
Because she wants her wifey to yeah, do to be sex with her. Yeah. Okay, okay. Us together. Okay, so you, you, you can watch with the camera. <laughs> like, that's fine. Right, you can watch with the camera. <laughs> so you want me to shoot it? Yeah. You but you know, because I think that that might help me get over my butt fear. Mm. So your fear is really just the leakage option. <laughs> Don't say leakage. Do not say leakage. Ain't no leakage. <laughs> leakage. So you don't papers. like leakage. Leakage is not your thing. <laughs> oh, don't make her puke on me. Don't leakage out of your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> or if you're me out of your nose. So so that's so that's really it more so than like the feeling of something going in your butt or I th- there's definitely the cleanliness fear. Um, yeah. the cleanliness fear is a big thing. And that's kind of why I never really got into anal in my personal life, because for me to feel comfortable with it, I, the prep that goes into it yeah. by the three hours I've spent cleaning out my ass, because <laughs> like I said, a little bit OCD. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My boyfriend likes to surprise anal sex me. And I just wish that he wouldn't do that. I wish he would give me time to prepare. And he doesn't, he just like decides he's like, I'm going to stick it in your butt. I'm like, but, but what if there's bears in the cave? <laughs> we just like, I'm normally we just, she plays it off. We just, <laughs> Actually, it's funny. We did we did a anal sex a little while ago, and then like I had not been able to prepare, and I think I'd like eaten a lot that day or something. <laughs> but it was like fine. There wasn't like there wasn't a lot, but I think there like might have been some. And I just like he's you know he pulled out, and I like looked because you just you always look right. You want to like especially as the girl, just you want to like sure make like, sure. I've never taken a and poop I was without like, looking in the toilet afterwards. And I was you got to like, know. You know. <laughs> I think that's true for everyone. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, I think it's okay. He's like, don't look, don't look. I'm just getting in the shower. Don't look. He's like, you refuse to look. He just ran to the shower. And I was like, well, you're the one who decided to stick it in my butt with no fucking warning. Like, yeah, no, that he got what he asked for. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I have enemas in my bathroom. If you just like kind of tell me, like, hey, you I want to stick it in your butt tonight. Enema in your, in yeah, your I have garage. a lot of that stuff. Like, I can fully prepare and make sure, like, it, I mean, you can drink out of my butthole, but if you just stick it in there with no warning, like. Actually, every time I go to Costco and I see, like, the big like, <laughs> thing of enemas, I think of you because I remember you. Years ago, you complaining to me that they didn't sell douche and enemas at Costco in bulk. <laughs> yeah, I know, and they really should. I, I mean, always think about you when I see them. At I Costco. can't get like large quantities of discounted douche or enemas, and it's I can get baby wipes. You should, but... you should contact Fleet and ask to be sponsored. <laughs> Oh my god, do you think Fleet will want to sponsor my podcast? They can be my first sponsor. <laughs> I want one hundred percent. I don't you don't, you don't five. want you want Fleet though. You want Fleet. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we, we, but we go off brands. We actually really need to talk to like the generic, like the equal or the <laughs> best Western. Or I don't know. I don't. I don't see those church, Kroger, those Kroger churchy, brand. those churchy companies being like, yes, we're gonna we're gonna sponsor, sponsor Holly's podcast, a porn porn director's podcast. But I feel like I could get a sponsorship from Fleet. So what do we know about the background of Fleet? We don't. We don't. We we're someone look to- that up. Someone- <laughs> I know. I wish this was a live radio show. I'd be <laughs> like, someone find out and call us. Tell us right now. I need to know all of all of the fleet butthole things. <laughs> oh, so I'm moving, and I'm in the process of moving. And every single time I move, I realize that like, a, I'm a filthy pervert, and I own too many of my magazines of myself. If you need a mag- signed magazine of me, please contact me. I've got like boxes, boxes and boxes and boxes. But I went through and I was going through my sex toys, and um, and I and I was. Trying to Marie Kondo my sex toys. Does this or does this not? By the way, I still have a fucking uh, violet wand from you that you gave me that I've never used. And Trevlin found it the other day in my... uh, in my room and he's like what the fuck is this and i'm like it's a is it wand like a for like one? electricity and mm-hmm. yeah no it's like oh, a that wand. Like, it's like o- the electricity electro one wand. the yeah. neon the neon wand from yeah. uh kink lab yeah maybe I, I can't remember yeah i did i did the um i did the video and yes, he was, you gave me a different toy that i still have too and he was like shocked by that and i was like we should try it out sometime but i don't know i'm not really into being electrocuted it doesn't it doesn't, really it doesn't hurt. hurt yeah I was scared. I was scared the first time. I did Stock Room's advertising campaign one year, (laughs) and they made me shoot with some of it, and I was so freaked out. And then once it happened, I was like, "Oh, that's not that bad." So, fun fact about that (laughs) that neon wand. Or all neon ones in general. So uh, I'm now an esthetician. I was going to say, I know where this is going because you <laughs> used it on me. <laughs> when I went to esthetician school, I discovered that the high frequency that they give you in facials when you're acneic uh-huh. is that wand. So if you have like a, 
which you should have told her. She's going to use it on her face all the time. Oh, now. wow. Because I'm like totally breaking out right now. Yeah. So you can use it like twice a week, just kind of like for about three minutes, just kind of rub it all over your face. Really? And it'll kill the back, the ozone, it creates ozone, which will kill the bacteria beneath the skin surface. Oh my God. It has so many And you many can uses. use it if you've like picked at something and it's juicy, you can yeah. use it to like zap and cauterize juicy. it. Yeah, because um, when she was still going to school, she was practicing on friends and she did a facial on me once and she used it. And I was like, what? Because they're so much cheaper than buying an actual high frequency unit. Yeah. Actually, no. Now high frequency right. units, they're like $35 on Amazon. Oh, really? Yeah. And they really work? Yeah. Wow. You you know my struggle with acne. You yeah. Know that, like it, it just. Oh, we've all had the struggle. Yes. Yeah. Ugh. I'm like about, have to go, about to have to go back on doxycycline and I am not stoked. Oh. It makes my pussy so dry. <laughs> this is fuck fest 2017, guys. <laughs> you gotta keep. Well, that's what lube is for. Yeah, I don't know, like zitty face or like yeah, zitty, zitty face, wet pussy or like dry <laughs> pussy and smooth face. Like I still feel like I can get laid with acne. Yeah, you totally can. No, yeah, no problem. <laughs> Sophie's choice. I feel like we were. I feel like you were. We interrupted you. You were about to talk about some sex toys that you'd found when you were moving. Oh yes. Oh yes. Yeah, so. um I was Marie Kondoing as I'm moving, which means that you pick up every item and you decide, does this or does this not spark joy? And so I managed to, so I was cleaning out my, my side drawer, um, my drawer of dicks, and I was putting them into a bag of dicks. <laughs> and uh, I, it's very heavy. I should not hit, if I hit someone with that bag of dicks, like they would go down. You possibly. should bring that to your boxing match with Blair Williams. <laughs> Toys, just fucking whack her with them. Well, so I'm going through this, and there, uh, there's you know, a- you said you should beat like your wife with a bag of oranges. You just <laughs> bag of dicks. Yeah, it would be effective. Well, speaking of that, so I'm going through my toys, and there's one thing that I cannot get rid of, and it's so in 2006, Fleshbot we used to be a porn uh, award company. They had an award ceremony. Oh, and I know. For- for the rewards, they gave out this. It's called the 11, and it's this 11 inch, 11 pound metal dildo. And it says, like, the Fleshbot Awards on it. And it was supposed to go to the cast of True, True Blood, but no one, they didn't send anyone to pick it up. So I ended up with it, and I've had it for years. And I just. Wait, 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 wait. Why would the cast of True Blood get an 11 inch metal dildo? Because they won Sexiest TV Show. Oh. And all of, all of the awards were 11 inch dildos. Uh, Metal eleven inch shoulders. Oh, okay. Yeah. And but but of course because it wasn't a mainstream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, they were like, no, we won't pick that up. They're like, yeah, we're fine. We're we're good. We'll we'll just keep our Emmys. We're fine. We don't need your flesh bot eleven inch metal dick award. Thanks. I've actually ri- run into Alexander Skarsgård twice and offered it to him. <laughs> and let me tell you, uh, he was really awkward about it. <laughs> well, how strange! <laughs> I'm like, I've got your award. I've only recently. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know what to, like it's one of those things that like I should get rid of because I'm trying to move and I'm trying to downsize but it's like what what do I do with it and actually I just threw away a bunch of butt, butt plugs including a piggy tail butt plug which oh, I've had for years you should, you should have given it to her you yeah. can sterilize all that stuff she could use I, have, I don't need to sterilize I actually, it <laughs> I actually just gave her a bunch of wardrobe and stuff including a bunch of glass toys yeah <laughs> I have a rabbit tail butt plug Ooh, yeah it's really cool you need those bunny butt tail. plugs to prep your butt for our anal scene. Yeah. <sighs> I kept one. I kept one of all of the butt plugs. I'm going to get you. What are the ones get with jewels? The, no. I have that too. The one that's like, it helps stretch out your butt. It's like two different, you know, it's like, I, like yeah. five different sizes. You get yeah. like a small one. And then once your butt relaxes for that, you stick the bigger one in and then you just keep going. And then yeah. you're ready for business. Be ready. <laughs> <She's> <laughs> like, I don't know about this. I don't know about this. <laughs> I'm like boxing match, no problem. Butt stuff, oh. <laughs> punching me in the face. Sure, why not? Trying to give me anal pleasure. <laughs> I do have a question though. Like, are you okay with a finger? No. What? Really? <laughs> she was at it. Just, no. <laughs> How dare you suggest such a thing? I did have one boyfriend that was able to 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 butt fuck me, and it, that he was he was just amazing. So sexually compatible. What about a tongue? What about rim job? Does it make you uncomfortable? It's okay. I don't really, Well, here's the thing is I just, as long as I understand that I'm not returning the favor, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so just this is not your thing. So wait, how was the anal sex with this friend of yours? I fucking loved it. Okay, so then why are you so weird about it? I don't know. 
know. <laughs> but he like he, he was like sneaky about it. He would just like sneak his dick into my butthole. And I was like, how did that happen? There was a guy that I was <laughs> having sex with once who, yeah, he had a very large penis and we had a lot of anal sex, which I've never really done a lot of, but he was so good at it. Like, and he, he was just, yeah, same yeah. thing. We were very sexually compatible. We called him um, Anal Hurricane. Actually, <laughs> Bri- Brian gave him that that title and it just kind of stuck. Do I know this boy, the sex of boyfriends? Uh, well, we were never together. We were just having sex. Oh, okay. He was. I met him on Tinder. <laughs> mm. So my. Oh, I know who you're talking about. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yes, I know who you're talking about. Yeah, he was a neighbor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The guy yeah. on the street. Yeah, <laughs> anal hurricane. Yes. I remember the name. He now. listens to my podcast too. I think sometimes. So hi, oh, hi, anal hurricane. Hi, anal hurricane. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> we had fun. I'm in a relationship maybe Ryan now. Need, maybe with Ryan a... needs to meet him. <laughs> Ooh, you should meet him. Is he gangly like David Tennant? <laughs> <laughs> Are you getting particular? <laughs> um, I mean, I don't think he's gangly. He's That's definitely just... like slim. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. give him he's... my number. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You guys should meet. Yeah, he's fun. Yeah. He's nice. He's a really nice guy. But anal matchmaker. <laughs> <laughs> he will stick it in your butt and you will love it. That, I, you know, that sounds like a good time. I mean, I've been in a relationship for almost three years. And so uh, back when we met on this, my last relationship, I thought it was going to be forever. At least I hope so, because our story was so good. He was my first and only OK Cupid date. Oh, mm. and um, but it's over now. And <laughs> now I'm on Bumble and it sucks. Bumble is full of a lot of bots, I feel, because I was on that, too. And, like, the first 10 guys that I got were all, like, way too good looking and had, like, really amazing jobs. And not a single fucking one of them got back to me. Mm. Like, come on. I mean, I know I'm not, like, a supermodel, but come on. Yeah. Come on. Like, everyone on Tinder got back to me. Do you know Mm. I haven't dated since before online dating? She's so fucking old. (laughs) (laughs) Well, you've been with Matt for how long? I've been my husband for almost 10 years now. Wow. How often does he get butt stuff? We don't do any butt stuff. Ever? We have. I have to be really drunk. He's kind of got a big penis and it's really hard. It's not It's not oh. a pliable penis. Oh, I think mm. I remember, like remember this. Is this the one that he has butt st- He gets mad. You guys don't have butt sex because you get too drunk and then you don't remember it. I don't it. remember and, it. and he gets mad because he <laughs> I don't remember it. But to be fair, like he, I'm the first girl that ever, and he's older than me. He's eight years older than me. No girl ever let him put let him put it in their butt. So like when we started dating, go to JelenaJensen dot com <laughs> to see how big yes. this dick is. Yes, <laughs> it's, not like the, it's no Mandingo, but it's still it's it's big, sizable. Yeah, I mean it's big, it's thicker than my wrist. I didn't believe him. Of course, I should have believed him because obviously a man who's had that penis his entire life has put his hands around it and he knows the width. Yeah, <laughs> and he grabbed my wrist and he told me his penis was thicker than my wrist. I was like, uh uh-uh. uh, and I got the measuring tape out. <laughs> True story. Bigger, bigger diameter. Anyway. Oh, wow. <laughs> so rarely in the butthole. No. So, yeah, we don't do it anymore at all. Um, I used to really like anal sex, but I feel like it's better with guys who aren't that big. Yeah. And like we we're saying, if it's not like super rock hard. Mm-hmm. Um, but for him, it was great because no one ever let him do it before. So it wasn't like an expectation. It's not like I'm not giving him something that he always got before. So he doesn't care. Yeah. Like he's perfectly happy with the That's vagina. why he put a ring on it. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> but then I knew him before... Um, we ever dated or anything right? for a long time. And we, we met just as acquaintances years before we actually started dating. So it's funny because my ex before, like I didn't go on any dates between them really with like guys I didn't know. So like I haven't let literally like dated yeah. since like end of 2004, early 2005. Wow. We're, we're, I used to MySpace date. Wow. Wait, wait, wait. Were, was Justin and Brittany still together back then? <laughs> no, I'm crotchety and old. You know, though, honestly, though, I've heard from a lot of guys that like anal sex is more about like the taboo aspect than yeah. how it feels because I've heard, whereas like, you know, the pussy's like tight the whole way through, it's, you know, like mm-hmm. a, like a, like a anal sex is like a it's opening base, to right? a large cavern. Yeah. You know, like you get through like that small opening and the rest the is a big cave and there's like <laughs> the nothing muscle? else in there. So. <laughs> You okay? So another fun fact about Ryan is that she likes to play. What do you play? Magic, Magic the Gathering. Oh my god! I had the biggest panic attack last night <laughs> sorting my Magic the Gathering cards for moving. Is that that's like Dungeons and Dragons, right? It's totally different. Okay. <laughs> the, uh, 
It's for D and it's like D and D, but for people with uh with short attention spans. Oh, so it is like Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah. Even though you just said it was totally different. It's well, it's fantasy role playing. It, no, it's not role playing. That's the thing is that it, it, it is a card based game, and you're doing battle. It's more like poker and chess combined with like dragons and shit. But it, it's just cards. <laughs> Not you, just you, cards. You There's 14,000 different and cards. And you, you use can... your imagination. No, you don't use your I imagination. I don't have any of that left. You don't use your imagination. <laughs> it's a different game. Okay, where's Chris Gore? I just <laughs> saw him. He will come and explain this shit She's to you. She's very angry about this. <laughs> Yeah, there's no fight like a nerd fight, okay? Yeah. <laughs> she tries to get me to go. So her little knights are called Vagic the Gathering. It's a oh, girl. Fuck off. That's amazing. Yeah, it's a mostly female play. And group. she tries to get me to come all the time, and I'm like, no, I'm good. <laughs> it's a bunch of nice ladies. Hey, oh, you know, yeah, playing yeah, no, they're nice. I just have no desire to. A bunch Fine. of nice ladies. <laughs> we we sit around, you know, we play play yeah. It, it's it's a good time though the best part about it, so i was having these uh badges the gathering nights and like every week like if you walk past my apartment you'd see all these tables set out and all these people playing cards and i live in the neighborhood i'm about to move out of is predominantly armenian mm-hmm. um definitely mafia run and i started getting cornered in the elevator by all these guys like oh you got a game because <laughs> they thought i had an underground poker game <laughs> <laughs> and i'm like i don't think you want to play this game <laughs> <laughs> what are your feelings on you know like really really complicated rules and dragons <laughs> <laughs> yeah also cat creatures and vampires <laughs> you're kind of selling holly on this yeah like, and she's like mm. i'm like is it anything like game of thrones I was, that, yes. that's all that was crossing yes. every time she said dragons i'm like ooh, holly oh, is getting intrigued speaking of game of thrones this season i am so upset about the amount of vagina and boob and butt that we see in game of thrones and there's so much like jacked up ween that we don't get to see and i'm upset because like I don't get to see. Uh, there's so many different ways to be a eunuch. We don't. Why don't we get to see Grey Oh my god, stick? she has she has a list by the way of her like <laughs> issues with it. No, really, she has. A, I know. She has like, why notes. did you just pull out your phone? <laughs> oh wow, she, she really does. Notes. Ex- existing is, notes. She okay. So Ryan Keeley on her phone has a list of notes of her grievances with Game of Thrones. Wait, what was your thing about? Well, this is just the list uh, of uh, dicks that that we should see that we're not seeing because oh. I see so much like regular genitalia yeah. at my job. I'm always looking for something a little. Strange strange <laughs> and uh <laughs> and just 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 in this season i just started with this season um but i have a feeling that i'm gonna have a list of dick that we should see first of all eunuch dick why don't we get to see gray worms gray worms like dick or lack of dick like because there's so many different ways to make a eunuch you could have just have his balls no. i know just- that, and i feel like that is a question that has actually not really been addressed like yeah. does he have his dick no i think he's fully castrated he is so he's not i still want to see what that looks yeah, like yeah, yeah i think he is though but I still I need to see what that. It was like. kind of weird though in that and when we can't his no, face? no spoilers no spoilers oh. she's not she's not that she hasn't watched all the seasons yet. where are you oh I'm ca- I'm caught up right oh I thought oh, you were okay. no okay. I'm caught up this is just for me on on Monday night if you want to know how to seduce me so I <laughs> I have a friend of mine who you know, I wasn't even planning on having sex with him like at all like we've been friends for whatever whatever. And with the breakup, I lost my HBO Go login, which is really the tragedy. <laughs> oh, wow. I would yeah. be. That's the only reason I have cable. Yeah. So I can have HBO so I can watch Game of real, Thrones. It's real upset. Only reason. So I hadn't seen any of the new Game of Thrones. So this gentleman ordered a bunch of sushi, had me over, and we watched three. Uh, the Caught Me Up, which I had all three episodes and like like rubbed my shoulders and like petted me the whole time oh he 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 has <laughs> he you may not have had plans of fun, <laughs> but he did yeah for sure did you have sex with him totally of course you did <laughs> <laughs> that's Ryan. yeah <laughs> um but yeah because we need to see gray worms dick so i want to see what that castration situation looks like i'm just curious okay. also i'd like to see mormon's grayscale dick like, I wish we could have gotten some close-ups of, like, possibly of the, the peeling off of the grace. Oh, my God. You think it got all the way to his genitals? It definitely got all the way to his genitals. Okay. I didn't... God, you think about... I never even thought that, oh... I didn't think about that either. He's got scales on his dick. I well, think about how either. hard and monster-like that would be. Ooh, that's kind of That's hot. what I'm saying! <laughs> and oh, I my believe- God. Can you imagine how painful when it got hard, though? Stretching, and it, like, no, all stretches out, out, out and, and it, like, like flakes it's off. It's like scabs breaking. Oh. Oh. Did, 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 I don't think they, the scabs broke. No, but if it got if his penis enlarged, the skin would stretch and those scabs would break. Not necessarily. We don't know that. There's, <laughs> there's only one way to find out, and we need to talk to the art department. <laughs> yeah, that also reeks ween because well, he doesn't have it anymore. But wasn't it first skinned and then chopped off? 
Yes. So we didn't get to see any of that. And then... I don't know if they skinned his penis or they skinned him and then just then chopped his penis And off. also, Peter Dinklage is holding out. I'm sorry, Mr. Like, I'm a fancy fucking actor. Everyone else shows their junk in that goddamn show. We don't even get midget butt. Well, <laughs> I have heard that um, little people normally have a normal size normal penis. Size. Yes. So they're actually like... It's supposed to be Comparatively, it looks very large. Do you know how hard large. it would be for him to... Even if he did a nude scene and didn't want to show his actual dick to wear a sock, like, he would still see it. That's why... I, this is why... <laughs> Game of Thrones needs to give this. All right. All right. She's like, all right. Yeah. Now, um, okay. This has been great, but I feel like we've trailed off. Now that we're doing, we need to do a whole other podcast on Game of Thrones theories. So. Oh, can we? T- no, we can't talk about Game of Thrones. No, we can talk about it afterwards. Yes. I promise. Yes. Or next time you guys come on. Yes. Or next time we watch a horror movie together. Yeah. Oh, you have to experience Ryan in a horror movie. <laughs> yeah, I would love to because horror movies I don't I was, affect me at all. I, like, I, they never scare me and apparently you're terrified of them. I, so <laughs> to catch everyone up, so it's listening or watching. Um, so Ryan is like deathly afraid of horror movies. And so she, in the past year, has broadened her horizons and started watching them. And so I would come over sometimes or she would come to my house and we would watch a scary movie together. And we watched a movie and it wasn't even that scary. And she literally was screaming at the top of her lungs, jumping off the couch, <laughs> running across the room, just screaming. Like something happened, she'd be like, ah! <laughs> I, I'm not even joking i was expecting a knock on the door from the cops like i was like ryan you need to stop because your neighbors are gonna think you're getting murdered in here and then they're gonna come knock on the door and yeah so it's it's a it's entertaining like yeah. with me i don't get that scared at scary movies so it was actually more entertaining to just watch her lose her shit yeah i never do like i'll watch them alone by myself at night right before i go to bed and it won't yeah. phase me at all me too at all nope but i'm dead inside so there's that <laughs> i'm really upset about the new it why they're remaking it why would they remake it you don't like remakes do you <laughs> she gets so mad it's like it's like they're erasing part of her childhood or something <laughs> well seeing it is the reason why i never watch horror movies again until recently i don't think i've ever seen it oh <laughs> maybe we should watch that together <laughs> yeah yeah okay we'll do that we can skip the ending though the ending's terrible oh okay spoiler alert all right <laughs> All right, you girls. Thank you guys so much for coming on. <laughs> Thanks for having us. It was awesome. It was awesome to see you guys. And you guys are so funny. We could literally sit here and talk for like five hours. I yeah. know. We and we literally will. So that's why I'm like, I think we're like an at an hour and a half now. And I'm like, I've got to cut this off. Oh yeah, totally. It'll just keep going and going. It's terrible. <clears throat> well, my name's Ryan Keeley. You can catch me at Ellis Mania, Ellis Mania 14 on September 30th in Vegas. I'm gonna get in a fight. Um and then where can they find you on social media? At Ryan Keeley, R-Y-A-N-K-E-E-L-Y on Twitter and the real Ryan Keeley on Instagram. And Jelena. And I am Jelena Jensen. You can find me at Jelena Jensen, which is J-E-L-E-N-A, J-E-N-S-E-N on Twitter, on Instagram. I don't do all the other stuff. Um, and then Fuck, <laughs> too much social media is just a fucking full-time job. So yeah, that's all I have time for is those two. And then my website, jelenajensen.com. And I'm Holly Randall, and make sure you guys tune in next week for another fabulous podcast. And don't forget to subscribe, rate, and tell all of your friends in any way to check out this uh, this podcast on any platform that you enjoy. Yes, please do, because I don't want to shoot porn that much longer. So it would be great <laughs> if I could just do this for a living. Thank you so much. <laughs>